I mean, in some countries, road safety has really improved, and uh, I must say it's pleasing to see uh, countries like uh, Australia, because if you see the figures uh, about uh, four decades ago, it was uh, three times more fatalities in, uh, on the roads with uh, half of the vehicles on the road. So now even if it's scary when you hear 1,300 dead, when you hear uh, that you have about 30,000 people who are injured, but still it's a big improvement. CAMS is doing a great work, a great job. We have uh, people who are motivated, and you, you must uh, not uh, forget that uh, CAMS is supplying to the uh, to make the uh, the race uh, available around thousand volunteers. And I mean, we don't speak enough about those people who give their enthusiasm, their passion, their soul to uh, motorsport, and it's the same when uh, they are organizing uh, rallying. We are working very hard to make road accident among the priority and we are working, of course, with all our clubs around the world, with the government, with the UN, and uh, of course, we are supporting the Decade uh, of Action for Road Safety 2011-2020 with the WHO. You were mentioning the figures which were issued yesterday during a meeting uh, in Geneva where FIA uh, was represented. And um, hopefully, uh, we will be able to participate to improve uh, the situation. But uh, I mean, it's a, it's a scary situation. And it's uh, very pleasing to see that both our communities, as I was mentioning earlier, the sporting community and the motorist community through the AA have put road safety among the priority. What is true in Australia is not true in Africa, it's not true in Asia, uh, it's not true in Middle East, uh, it's not true in a lot of countries uh, in Europe. But all goes around education, and here we have uh, what we call uh, golden rules, and golden rules are ele elementary principles, you know, which have to be more respected. And if I read them, it's put your safety belt, you know, which seems obvious to most of you here. But you must realize that in a lot of countries, in most of the countries around the world, people don't know what is a safety belt. You know. Then respect the highway code, obey to the speed limit, check your tires, drive sober, protect your children, don't phone or send SMS while you drive, wear one helmet if you are on a motor, motorbike and be courteous and considerate. If you will apply those simple principles, you will reduce uh, the accident. And of course, law enforcement. But again, Australia is quite good on law enforcement.